Pop up storms can ruin your plans, something you'll see in the forecast heading into the summer. But for storms to form, a lot of factors need to line up just perfectly. In today's Weather IQ, Chris explains why storms may not form even when the conditions are just right. The cap. Not this cap, nor that one, but we'll use this as an example later. The cap can prevent storms from forming, so you know what time it is. It's time for another Weather IQ. The cap is a warm layer of dry air that can range anywhere from the surface up to 10,000 feet. Depending how strong the layer is, it can prevent a single storm from forming, even when the atmosphere is juiced up perfectly. To understand this, let's start with the basics. Thunderstorms form from rising moist air. That warm air meets with the colder, drier air, condensing into clouds and eventually can turn into storms. However, sometimes that rising air gets trapped by the cap. To visualize, this bottle of soda is a super unstable atmosphere where all that heat and humidity is building at the surface. But as long as that cap is tightly in place, it can expand upward. But once that cap breaks, storms and severe storms can explode quickly, creating quite the mess. To overcome the cap, temps need to warm up warmer than the inverted layer. Once that happens, the developing updraft is no longer capped and can freely rise upwards. This is why often during the summertime here, you don't see storms develop until later in the afternoon, once the cap breaks. The cap is notorious for busting forecasts, where a day of severe storms can turn out to be a quiet day, or the timing of storm development can be skewed if the cap takes longer or less time to break than anticipated. The cap is also known as a temperature inversion. Temperature inversions are common, especially in the morning and the evening. When they're shallow, they can trap smells and even cause it to remain smoky after a fireworks show because the smoke can't escape upwards. So cheers with another Weather IQ. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. And folks, if you want to keep boosting your Weather IQ, just take out your phone, scan the QR code that's about to pop up on your screen. There it is. Scan it, it'll take you to our Weather IQ YouTube page. Well, I'm glad you got to drink a little bit of that soda after you spewed it all over and yourself. And you've showered since then. Yeah, yeah. I've since then. And I uh, promise I also washed off the picnic table yeah. because it was absolutely covered. But it was a good example. You, you see this all the time every summer. It's just like, wow, it feels like it's going to storm. It feels like it's a storm. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, yeah. that's yeah. the cap breaking. Mm. It can be maddening in forecasting, too. Yeah. Yeah. Constantly yeah. Don't, don't envy your jobs. Mm. Nice yeah. job. <laughs>